Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. The name on the top of the state's tallest building, it's not an insurance company or a bank. The name on the top of the former Chase Tower in downtown Indianapolis, now Salesforce, reflecting the global tech giant's commitment to Indiana and the Indianapolis region's continued tech momentum. This weekend, company, state, and city officials marking the grand opening. And for more on this milestone event, let's bring in Marketing uh, Cloud CEO and Chief Analytics uh, Officer, Bob Stutz. And Bob, welcome to the program. Thanks, Gary, appreciate it. Uh, let's talk about um, what this e event, and, and, and this is uh, truly monumental in terms of the investment that Salesforce is making in Indianapolis, adding uh, 800 plus jobs here over the next several years. How significant is this facility, is this regional headquarters to Salesforce? It's significant. This is a big event for Salesforce, it's a big event for Indianapolis, and, and a big event for the state of Indiana. Yeah. As you look at, uh, again, your second largest uh, hub outside of San Francisco, uh, Salesforce buildings uh, in the world, uh, San Francisco, New York, London, and now Indianapolis. Is this a part of a commitment to, to Indiana? It is a huge commitment to Indiana, and, and it's a commitment that, you know, that Mark made a few years ago. We're continuing to build on that commitment, and our commitment is to to really be the top tech company here in Indiana and to continue to grow, um, grow our business here. We have lots of customers in this in in the Midwest here. It's a great place for our customers to come. It's a great place for us to build a a large facility. Um, as you can see, Saturday's event will be huge for us. Um, so. Yeah, a big event. You mentioned Mark. Mark Benioff, the CEO of the company, will be in for the event uh, as well. Yes. Uh, and again, it's going to be a big celebration and a chance to really showcase and show off uh, Salesforce, the brand. You're hiring a lot of people. You've already got 1,600 people uh, here in Indiana looking to hire maybe another 800 or so. What types of people are you looking for? So we're looking for all sorts of people, right? A tech company is made up of lots of different mm -hmm. types of individuals. It's made up of different jobs, everything from super high high-tech jobs to mid-level tech jobs to even low-level tech jobs. And so it, it really does span across the whole sort of footprint of, of the industry for us. It's been a, there have been a lot of tech uh, announcements, uh, Infosys with plans to hire 2,000 people, a number of others, uh, in particular in the Indianapolis region. How confident are you of that, that, that uh, talent pipeline that you can get the people you need? Uh, we're very confident. I mean, when you look at Indiana and you look at the university system in Indiana, and all the universities within a short distance of Indianapolis, it's amazing. I, I don't think there's any other, any other city in the country that has a feeder pool like that for young tech talent than, than what Indianapolis has. What will be key, in your view, to continued growth uh, for Salesforce? You've got some very big uh, globally uh, plans, but as you look here regionally in, in Indiana, what are going to be keys for growth? Uh, the keys for growth uh, for us here in Indiana will really be about that talent pool, continuing to get that talent pool, but also not just the, the junior talent pool, but being able to, to recruit talent from outside of Indiana, from Silicon Valley to move here to help mm -hmm. build up that whole talent yeah. pool that we need here in order to be a thriving tech community. You talk about being, and there are a lot of efforts underway to make this a, a magnet, if you will, for talent. You and your wife moved here in October and yes. planned, planned to, to make this your home. Make what, it our home. What are your thoughts of uh, the Indi Indianapolis, the Indianapolis region? I, I think it's a, it's, a, it's, it's a secret. It's probably the best kept secret in the country. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing city and my wife and I have lived all over the world and and when we came to Indianapolis when I first found out I was coming I was like oh yeah how am I gonna go home and tell my <laughs> wife this now right. and uh, but we got here and we absolutely love it and and it's a beautiful city a safe city clean city a thriving downtown which is what you need for a good tech community you need that thriving downtown environment and, and the values of the yep. people here, and, yep. and it fits with our culture at Salesforce. Very good, welcome Bob Stutz, the CEO of the Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Welcome to Indianapolis. Uh, we look forward to having you on the show in the future. Thanks, sir. appreciate All it. All right. Well, thanks for watching Inside Indiana Business on YouTube. For the latest statewide business news, be sure to visit InsideIndianaBusiness.com and subscribe to our free daily e-newsletters by clicking on the link.